bicycle, bicycle. There are pieces that will cycle through the thrift store every six months or so where people are new to the area, they buy the like cheap couch, then they get a nicer couch, and then the cheap couch goes back, and it just like. I'm sorry. I have a really terrible thrift store story though. I, I, I didn't hear the, at the first one. I was like, you get a cheap cow at the thrift store. <laughs> couch. Bikes end up in military thrift stores a lot because the kid outgrows the bike and they're not mm. going to hold on to it for the next sibling okay. because like sense. I'm not lugging this thing around. So I crashed my bike when I was in like third grade. Um, they were pedal backwards brakes mm. and mm. I was going down a hill and I panicked and I stuck my feet out for balance and then had no way to stop the bike. And I hit gravel at the end of the hill and went head over handlebars, face first into gravel, ripped up my face and my lips in particular, chipped a tooth. Like, and it was, a, it was an adult tooth, like the chip is still there, damaged my face. And there was, dried blood on the bike. Well, I never got on that bike again. It took, I, I did not ride a bike for like years after this. So my parents dropped the bike off at the thrift store and with the way the pattern of the bike was, it wasn't super obvious that that was dried blood on it, but like I knew that was what was on the bike and I saw it in the thrift store like three months later still sitting there with my dried <laughs> blood all over it. I was like, oh, I'm realizing gosh. now like that's super problematic and my parents should probably you cleaned it before they, I mean, you know what? It probably didn't actually have anything on it. And I'm like, I'm imagining it having had way more on it because I knew what had happened on that bike. Oh, yeah. Um, I cried at that age. I cried at everything. And so I went head over heels over the handlebars and mom was in front of me. She had the, like the baby seat on the back. Cause Olivia was like strapped into the bike. She was like three. And I start crying and my mom turns around and is like, uh, what? Because I cried at everything. And I, she said, it was like a horror movie. Like I picked my face up and I'm like, blood draining out of my mouth <laughs> and she was like she just about dropped the bike that my sister was strapped <laughs> into and about dropped it over on its side when she grabbed like grabbed she got the bike stabilized ran to get me and it was right at the edge of like we'd taken a loop around the park and we're like back at housing so that first house she like like knocking on the door it's like help so he called my dad who came with the pickup truck to pick up the bikes and like get olivia home and he like got me to the to the ER. I remember getting my first bike. I got my first bike on my fourth birthday. I was in a mood. I get into moods sometimes. I surprised. What? Um, I don't know why I was in a mood. I was, I was four years not... old and in a mood. God, that's just. <laughs> I had overalls on. I do remember that. I did Maybe have that's overalls why you on. Were in a mood. <laughs> no, they were nice overalls. Overall um, <laughs> um, so. My parents got me a bike that year for Christmas, and they also got my brother, like, one of those, was it Little Tykes, the red car with the yellow? Well, yes! Like, because they didn't want the him to feel bad. It was weird. My cliche family. car mm -hmm. that, like, every And now it has a had. face. Like, oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, it's like this big car. old, like, face oh, on the that's front. Uncomfortable. Like, anyway, so I got the bike. It was hand brakes with training wheels. Mm. which was not a good combination. Also, this is <laughs> this is a great example of how oh, my no. family teaches everything. Oh, no. So we get on, and we're in the street. It was a, it was a cul-de-sac, and we get on the bike, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, and proceeded to realize that they were like, just pedal forward with the pedals, and I was like, cool. And then I was like, cool, how do I stop? And I get hollered at pedal backwards. And it wasn't a pedal backwards bike. And I went, ah! And then I hit, <laughs> I hit the station wagon that was, I don't know, remember whose it was. I hit a station wagon that was in front of me. And then I went, <laughs> even with the training wheels, I managed yeah. to like pull the entire bike over. And I said, well, that was fun. I enjoyed hurting myself and now I am never doing this again. I didn't fall off of a bike with training wheels, but as I was in the process of getting the training wheels taken off, I had a day where I was riding around with friends and my shoelaces came untied and wrapped themselves around the pedals and I couldn't get off of the bike because I couldn't pick my feet up off the pedals because I was like tied to the pedals of the bike. 
and I fell over and I like landed sideways on a car that the car alarm started going off and it was just an awful experience. I don't have good bike experience. I've never had a good bike experience. I've had a lot of traumatic bike experiences, most notably going face first over the handlebars and destroying my face. I still have a chip in my front. It's my front tooth. It's not noticeable unless I point it out to people, but like I chipped my front tooth right here. Oh, like barely, like it, it has improved over, like yeah. it's not bad now, but it was also at an angle, like they couldn't mm, do anything yeah. about it. Would you ride a unicycle? Oh God, no. I think I would try it in a safe my environment. My mom can like... ride a five foot unicycle. Does this surprise you about my mom? Like at I mean, all? No. She, your family also does really I, random things. 